executive order is to put the state of California and all its resources and buildings and energy use uh, on a pathway of greater and greater efficiency. We have a long way to go, but the goal is real clear. We have to decarbonize. That means there are no greenhouse gases emitted, and that is a very heroic uh, challenge. It's a very tall mountain to climb, but it starts with just the kind of steps that Edison is taking now. And this executive order aims to get our buildings as efficient as humanly possible in the public sector, at the same time motivate uh, buildings in the private sector to, to do likewise. The California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation is very, very proud to have met the governor's 2015 goal for us in 2014, a whole year early. And we're well on the way to meeting the 2020 goal. You know, there's a real opportunity with, with energy savings. Just at this one facility alone, by upgrading our heating and our air conditioning, we're going to save the taxpayers over a quarter million dollars a year. My name is Ryan Beck. I'm the project manager for the Department of General Services, working on the energy retrofit project for the Santa Ana State Office Building. The energy retrofit project here at the State Office Building is projected to reduce electricity usage by 27% steam usage by 14% and chilled water usage by 9%. Some of the items that will help the building be more efficient is the installation of a new cool roof, new AC units on the roof, variable frequency drives on motors, retrofitting all of the existing lighting with LED, occupancy sensors for lighting. We look forward to reporting our carbon emissions reductions with the Climate Registry to measure our progress towards meeting the goals. My name is Tom Ainsworth. I'm a manager here in the Caltrans Transportation Management Center. Working with Southern California Edison helped us achieve our goals of energy reduction in the lighting and air conditioning systems. The Savings by Design program helped us to attain a 20% savings overall in our energy usage for the facility. So we used a system called Solar Tubes, and it's basically a mirrored tube with lenses on both ends. And we're able to put those in different areas of the second floor and really able to reduce our lighting need during the day. We're currently installing one megawatt solar installation next door, 3,700 panels, and it'll provide 80% of the power for this building and our neighboring Southern Regional Lab building. So we project to save a million and a half over 20 years, um, about 50,000 a year, and those savings will be realized from the very first day of the solar turn on. The governor's executive order mandated that we achieve at least a lead silver. We exceeded that through the Savings by Design program and got a gold rating. It wasn't simple, there was a lot of adjustments, but it's paid off and it's really saving us energy now. We put a lot of effort into the energy savings in this building and it shows. The employees love the building. They love all the natural light. They love the landscape and all of it. It's just a great place to work. In the state of California, uh, through the Department of Corrections, uh, through Caltrans, uh, through the Department of General Services, we're doing our part. So with this climate registry program, uh, we've got to spread the word to all the private buildings because we're not talking about uh, 10 buildings or even uh, 1,000 buildings. We're talking about all the buildings in California, ultimately all the buildings in America. So this is very important uh, what's going on, and I think the people who are being recognized uh, well deserve the, this recognition.